Hi everyone, I went to Hancock's Fabrics yesterday and I did a little shopping. I got, I got quite a bit. Uh, let me go ahead and get started. I got me some fabric. And this is a really cute fabric. It's a lysis fabric. Um, it's called Little Girls or something. Toss Girl is what it's called. And let me see if I can see on the side here. Sometimes they... It's from Maxi and Company. Isn't that a cute little print? I love that print. And what I do is I make little dresses for African children. So that's what this is for. So I got two yards of it. And whenever they have something that gets to the end of the bolt, they always ask you, would you like to have so-and-so amount? And we'll give you 50% off, which is off the sale price. So the regular price on it was $9.99. The sale price was $3.39. And so for two yards, I paid $6.78. Well, there was, how much of the end of the bolt was there? Let me look and see here. I've got my receipt right here in front of me. Okay, there's two thirds, which was 24 inches left on the bolt. So I went ahead and got it because it was half off the sale price. So half of that was um, $1.70 a yard, and I paid $1.13 for 24 inches. So I paid $2 and um, I paid three dollars. No, wait a minute. Let me get it straight now. I paid six. Let's say seven. Let's say eight dollars um, for two and two yards and 24 inches of this beautiful fabric. Okay. Ugh. Next, I got some drapery fabric. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? I am going to real poster a chair that's in my bedroom. And this was the end of the bolt. Was it? Hold on a minute. Let me see. Yes, this was end of the bolt. I only wanted one yard. So the regular price was $9. Sale price was $3.06, which, um, well, I thought, well, maybe it is 60% off. I haven't figured it on my calculator. But anyhow, $3.06 a yard. And then in the bolt, there was about 25 inches left. So they gave me half off, which was $1.52 a yard, and I ended up paying $1.10. So for a yard and 25 inches, I paid four, four and a half dollars for this fabric. And it's a deco fabric. Okay, and then I got me some beautiful fleece. Look at this beautiful fleece. And uh, this was also on clearance. I think it was 60% off. Anyhow, with this, I want to make a, a doll blanket for my granddaughter. We're giving her the doll of the year from American Girl. Her name is Grace. And we're giving it to her for Christmas. So I'm going to make her a few things to go with it. And I'm going to get her some accessories. Anyhow, I'm going to make her a little blanket for her doll's bed. Because I'm going to get her a doll bed to go with this. I saw the cutest doll bed at Target last night. But anyhow, and then the rest, if I have enough, I'm going to make her a blanket, which I should have enough. A yard should do for her. She's only eight years old, and the, the problem is she's tall. She comes to about, well, the top of her head reaches the bottom of my chin. So she's kind of tall. But anyhow, so that's what I got that for. Oh, I didn't tell you the price. Huh. Oh, oops. Oh. Sorry about that. I got my phone and it got stuck under the receipt. And I had one of those uh, stands for my phone, but I can't find it. I have no idea where it's at. Okay, anyhow. Um, let 
I think the original price was $10.99. Looking for it on my receipt. Yeah, here it is. $10.99 was regular price. And it's 60% off, something like that. Came to $3.37 a yard. So, this was an end of the bolt thing, too. So, I got a yard for $3.37. Then, end the bolt was probably around maybe 28 or 29 inches and um, I paid a dollar forty so for a yard and 28 inches I paid about five dollars for this piece of fleece okay oh and then I got this piece of foam here which is going to go on the chair that I'm going to um, reupholster and the chair's smaller than this, I'm going to have to cut this down. But this is 18 by 18 and 2 inches thick. It was $11.99 for this piece, and I ended up paying $6.11. They were on sale 40% off. Okay, and then this piece of fabric here, my daughter saw this and she loved it. So I wanted three yards of this. She wants me to make her a dress out of it. It's a knit. It's really nice. Here's a better view of it. And she saw this and she says, can you make me a dress out of this? I said, okay. So I got three yards. Let me find it on here. Here it is. It's called Knit Floral. The retail price was $12.99. I ended up paying $3.31, well, $3.31 a yard. I ended up paying $9.93 for that piece of fabric. So that is not too bad. I have the pattern here already, so I didn't have to go out and buy a pattern. All right. I also got some thread, and the thread was two something. Yeah, two eighteen dollars each. So let me get started at the beginning here with it. I can tell you the colors. No, I'm sorry. Wrong thing. 167. That's how much the thread was. So this one here is called let me make sure I get the numbers right. Nope. Here we go. This, I don't know why it's called purple, but anyhow, it's called purple okra. It's an all-purpose general, um, all-purpose thread. So, it's called purple okra. Don't know why, but anyhow, they're $1.67 each. The retail price was $3.29. So, these were like 40% off. And, um, plus... Oh, and plus, I used a 15% off entire purchase coupon on this stuff, too. So, that also adds some um, extra uh, um, extra discount. I got two of the whites. This is called Purple Buff, I think. No. This is called... Okay, you know what? The P-U-R-P -P is purpose, not purple. So this is called buff. Um, I think it's this one here. Yep, yeah. and this one is called Bahama. It's like a greenish, turquoise color. And then this one, I think, is... Yep, yeah. this is spinach real pretty green and this is aquamarine this is called tomato I wanted like a Christmas red so that's as close as I could get this is salmon um, and this is called deep violet 
and they were all a dollar sixty-seven each. Then I got where are they? There they are. Then I got some sewing machine needles, and they were two eighteen each, and I got a size eleven. So I and these are by Singer. So I got three of those. And I always make sure I have size 11 um, on hand because that's what I use the most. I use uh, a lot of cotton or cotton polyester. All right. And then this is really cute. I love this. Isn't that just adorable? So I wanted two yards of this to make a dress for the African children. And it was $9.99 a yard. Excuse me. I ended up paying $3.39 a yard, which came to $2.78. I don't think this was in the bolt. No, this was not in the bolt. So anyhow, I got two yards of this, and it was six seventy-eight all together. Oh, my nose won't stop itching. Okay, and um, then I got some tutti frutti. This was regular price. It was not on sale, but they had a sixty percent off coupon in their ad. So I went ahead and used that coupon on this fabric. So this was nine ninety-nine. I ended up well, it was. Then it ended up to be $3.99 a yard, and I only wanted um, an eighth of a yard, so I got an eighth of a yard for 50 cents. Isn't this beautiful? Look at that. I love those colors. It looks like it's uh, orange slices or something on there, but they're different colors. And then I got me some sewing patterns. You know I cannot leave Hancock's Fabrics without getting some sewing patterns. So these are Simplicity for $1.99, and my youngest granddaughter loves baby dolls. So I'm gonna make her some baby doll uh, clothes and accessories and all. This is a vintage type pattern. It's a repo, I mean repo, reproduction. <laughs> but it doesn't tell me what year the reproduction is from. And I hate that. Sometimes they'll tell you and sometimes they won't. But the look of the pattern it looks like it could be from maybe the 50s. That's what I'm thinking is probably the 50s because of the style of the clothes or maybe 60s, I'm not sure. But anyhow, I just think they're all so adorable. I'm even gonna make this little suit here. That's probably what a snowsuit or something. It's called jumpsuit, but I call it a snowsuit. And let's see what uh, fabrics they say to use on it. Uh, flannel. Well, not flannel. Yeah, flannel. But anyhow, I'm going to make that for her, even though we live in Florida, which never snows down here. <laughs> then I saw this. I just thought this was adorable. And I got the pattern because of this picture here. Well, I didn't notice until did, until today when I was going through all my stuff that there these are the patterns right here. Oh, they are so darling. And it also comes with a pattern to make a little pocketbook. So I'm going to enjoy making everything on this pattern. It's going to be a lot of fun. I think especially this right here, that top right there. This is um this is like a white white top like a tank top underneath I just think that is so darling with the lace that goes over on top and then I'm I'm gonna enjoy making that skirt um, I have some fabric like this skirt so all I have to do is just cut the fabric to this uh, amount that I need because I think if I'm not going to be mistaken in the pattern it's going to tell you you need to add ruffle after ruffle well I already have fabric that has the ruffles added so I want to do it that way. Then, oh, and that's for my other granddaughter. I'm sorry. And then I got another 18-inch doll pattern. Oh, look at that. They are so all adorable. I just love it. 
So I'm going to make all these little outfits too. And I'm going to make me some too for my doll. <laughs> but I mainly got it to make her some things. And it comes with at the hat, the pocketbook. Everything you see on here it comes with it except the shoes. Then I saw this cute little baby doll pattern. Look at that. And this backpack, I'm going to um, make this also. And um, she can carry her doll stuff in it when she's in the car going to my house or wherever she's going. And here's a little, whatever you want to call it, on the front. And it has little leg openings so she can set her doll in that while she's carrying it, the doll on her back. And then down here you see a crocheted sweater and hat. I'm going to make that. You have to go to the website to get the pattern for that. Oh, wait a minute. And it also comes with a blanket. What's the other thing that's in her hand? I don't know what the other thing is. It looks like it's a maybe a tote bag or something in her hand. Probably, I think that's what it is because I see a strap on it. So it's like a tote bag or something that you can crochet right there. So anyhow, those are the patterns that I got. I got me a few little pieces of fabric to make the doll outfits with. So um, this is what's called a value fabric. And it's $4.95 a yard, and it was on sale for $2.07. And I got an eighth of a yard, and it cost $0.26. Cents. Isn't that pretty? Just look at how pretty that is. I love it. And then here's another one, the same thing, but in pink. And I got an eighth of a yard of this one, too. Let me... That's the right side there. Isn't that just pretty? I love it. And then I got this. This is also a value fabric. It was $4.95 a yard. I got it on clearance for $1.66 a yard. Yeah, $1.66. And I only wanted an eight, so I paid 21 cents for this piece. And look at that. Isn't that pretty? It's got glitter on it. That is gorgeous. And looks like that's all I got from Hancock's Fabric. So, you have a good day or a good night whenever you're watching this. Please subscribe, click the like channel, and leave comments and questions. Um, I will be doing a couple more haul videos. One from the Dollar Tree, one from uh, Target. Yeah, one from the Dollar Tree, one from Target. Okay, I will see you later. Bye-bye for now.